He comes from Philadelphia, so let's all join in and give him a terrific hand. 1957, when I started to get into pop records, one of the first records I bought was Butterfly by Charlie Gracie. Loved the record. Fabulous record. Whoops, I shouldn't have said fabulous record because that's his next one. Yeah, this is love. It's fabulous. My good friend Charlie Gracie should be remembered as a man who was given tremendous talent and he acted upon it. The Philadelphia Music Bible Hall of Fame, Charlie Gracie is the beginning, and I understand that you released The Butterfly, and it landed on William Penn's head. Is that correct? Well, listen, I knew William Penn personally. He was a good friend of mine. <laughs> There's no question the man was venerated by some of the biggest names in show business, Paul McCartney, members of the Beatles, Van Morrison, Graham Nash. A lot of guys that went on to become icons in the industry idolized him growing up. Hey Charlie, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday from me. I hope you have a great one. 80th. Who would have believed it? Certainly not you. We have the King of Philadelphia with us on his 80th birthday, and we just love him. Big hand for Charlie Grayson. Happy birthday, Charlie, from the city of Philadelphia. Hello, Charlie, my friend. Happy 80th birthday. It seems like I've known you since the late 50s when I saw you in Manchester when I was a child. Hey! We love you, Charlie. You'll be having nightmares about my name tonight. Charlie Grace, you have to go to the bathroom. Charlie Grace, you have to... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed. Here's the thing about Charlie. A lot of people that you work with, they know one style of music, or maybe two, really well. Charlie knew country music inside and out. He knew standards inside and out, rock and roll. He knew show tunes. And these were the things that were so valuable of an experience knowing the man because he would teach you all these things, things that you would never even think about. When all is said and done, I am still little Charlie Gracie from South Philadelphia who sings and plays the guitar. If you ever came to see me perform and you found yourself entertained and I made you happy for a few hours and I fulfilled my mission in this life and I'm eternally grateful to God for that opportunity. Within 48 hours of my father's passing on December 16th, 2022, I received a phone call from Greg Harris, the president of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. He said, Charlie, it's Greg Harris, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Stunned by your father's passing, and he said, look, we have to do something special. We have to do something special. And Greg, what do you have in mind? He said, that guitar, your father let me hold that guitar. It's an heirloom. He said, would it be asking too much to request a guitar to put on display here at the Hall of Fame? We'll do a special Charlie Gracie exhibit. I want to do it as soon as possible. Bring out some other artifacts, old photos and fan club buttons, maybe a suit of clothing. He said, sure, Greg, we'd be honored. I was, I was a bit stunned, to be honest with you. It was very comforting to know that they felt that highly of him to want to do that. I grew up in the Philadelphia area, so I was well aware of Charlie Gracie. Really Philly's first rock and roller, heck of a guitar player, great songwriter, and a bundle of energy. Uh, we're so thrilled that we have him now on exhibit at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. This guitar is incredible. We're grateful to the family for loaning us this to share with the public. If this is love, it's fabulous.